I didn't start that till I was 70. Actually being, I've always loved the theatre and been part of it and started the Bumby Players Group then and we did like 29 plays in seven years, something, you know, with a wonderful group of, you know, and I did the costumes and the sets as well, only because I love it, not because I knew about it. The first time I, I wanted to do Importance of Being Earnest, Oscar Wilde, because I love his work, I've always loved um, and I put an ad in the paper, auditions will be held for... He said, how the hell do you know? I said, I've no idea, but how do you know if you don't try? <laughs> and we were sold out. We were sold out for that performance. And so that made enough money. I put the money up for that. That made the money to do the next play, to do the next play. And we were doing, like, three plays a year and double bills. And it just built up from the desire that I wanted to do it. I've always wanted to be in the theatre yeah. when I grew up it, we weren't able to fo follow your dreams then. It was a different world. <laughs> oh, so last night I was thinking to myself, instead of just sitting there, why don't you make a coat yourself? Well, what can you do? For me, it has to be something a little bit light-hearted. But then I kept thinking, well, what about life? Uh, you know, so I decided this is a coat for life. All, all, the, all the things we don't do, we mean to do, we never do them. Um, and we let things just slip away and, yeah, we'll do it tomorrow, you know, or, yeah, we know we're all right and everything. So I thought I'll do a coat with holes in it and lots of the things that we should do have slipped away in a black hole and we might find them again. But then a lot of them have come back and so I stitched up the ones that I've, I think I've retrieved. They've not all stayed down the black hole. So some of them here, like family, don't take them for granted. Because I think sometimes we do, you know, take our family for granted. I've got the best family in the world, I think. But I'm sure sometimes I take them for granted and probably take me for granted. And it's something you must learn to do, you know, so. And that this, I put it around the heart section. Love is a two-way street. You can't expect to be loved if you're not loving, to my opinion. So that's, that's why this coat's about. It's about what we let go, what we shouldn't do, what we, we grab back. This one, well, this is uh, procrastination, dreams slip away. Well, they do, we think too long about something, whatever it is, if it's buying, perhaps we saw a wonderful piece of art or a coat or a pair of shoes or anything, we keep looking, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll go, they're gone, it's gone, you know, or, or a dream to do something. Just like me wanting to be in the theatre, you know, I didn't follow it up for, for so long, and it slipped away for a long time. But then, you know, as are some of them, you can grab it back if you want to. If you feel passionate enough about something, if you want to do it enough, you can get it back. So that's, uh, well, that's about, we think about things too much. All. Because I find with art, I know when I pay, I forget the time completely. I, I first started painting because of a bullying thing and I kept losing my voice. And if I was started painting, I never lost my voice. Because, you know, and I think that's what art can do for you. It can just centre you on you and your art and what you want to do. And I think everybody else has found that. It's been a wonderful atmosphere. <laughs>